got a tomato without the birds getting it for once. Got this bubby with me. I am wearing my new orthopedic shoes. I told you guys before that I have plantar fascia and got these bad boys. They're definitely not the height of fashion, but I am so excited to not be in pain anymore. So, oh, I wanna give you guys a sweet potato check. That's the sweet potato you guys watched me plant the other day. Look at how big it is already. This is the one we also planted. It is right there growing well it's this part too and then here is this one right here I'm gonna take this inside oh let's check the bell pepper as well <gasps> yep it's ready I just showed it to my mom and Dawn and I was like we'll eat like kings tonight <laughs> A tomato and a bell pepper. I do have, oh, my hair's so frizzy right now. Um, it's windy outside. I do have tomato on my menu. I don't have bell pepper, but I do have tomato. Dawn can eat the bell pepper and I shall eat the tomato. This is actually a Cherokee tomato. It's supposed to get much bigger than this, but I think putting the cheesecloth on it ripened it faster, but it was also the only way to get the birds to stop eating it. So I might have to get a bird net. Also, you guys all seem to be loving this candle. I'm gonna link it. It's from the White Company, and it's one of these candles that doesn't need a glass jar. It's um, a hard, soft wax, soft wax inside, hard wax outside, and it just burns so nice and so nicely. It's that time of the night, Advent calendar time. I need a better jingle. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. What do we have in here? Ooh. What is this? Evio Skin times Aurora, so it's a, a collaboration with someone named Aurora. Refreshing cleansing hemp wipes, cannabis sativa seed oil, multifunctional anti-fatigue. I'm trying to, is it like makeup wipes? Gently massage and over face in a, in a circular motion, taking care around the eyes, no need to rinse. Interesting, not a big fan of wipes because typically they contain plastics and they're not biodegradable. A few of them, interestingly enough, like um, Cottonelle wipes, those are biodegradable. They do not contain plastic, but I have yet to find a makeup wipe that is completely biodegradable. So I'm gonna have to look into this. I wrote a whole blog post about um, uh, makeup wipes and how they need to be revolutionized, brought into the 21st century. It is not necessary. If, Cot if Cottonelle can come up with a wipe that is plastic free and biodegradable and starts breaking down as soon as it comes in contact with water, so can a multi-billion dollar industry the beauty industry it's literally like almost the biggest industry in the world so i i will look into this though because i'm not saying that they are not biodegradable i'm saying i don't know but i'm skeptical and now we're doing lush it always smells so good when i open this what's it gonna be What's it? It's something in a package. Ooh, what is this? Oh no, it doesn't say. <gasps> no, why would they do this to me? How am I supposed to know what it is? What is this? I don't know. It smells interesting. I recognize the scent. 
Oh, what is it? Why would they do this to me? It says it was packed by Sophia. Why would Sophia do this to me? I'm so confused by this. You have to look on the back and see if it says what what it is. You know what's funny, Dawn? Is um you left you uh always wrap things in tinfoil. And it almost didn't feel like a proper Christmas not having my tinfoil package under the tree. And now I have it and I'm like, oh it feels like Christmas now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, let's see what this is. Golden pear soap. Pure pear puree, cardamom oil, and creamy organic cocoa butter creates nourishing fruity suds. Nice. Does smell good. That is my tin foil package I was just talking about. I was just in editing the vlog and I realized I didn't put anything in about the shoes and I wanted to touch on that real quick. So basically I have plantar fasciitis in both feet um, and it means that like the band that stretches from your toe all the way up to the back of your neck is stretched tight and it's no longer like it's, it's lost that elasticity and um, it's incredibly painful. And so I had been putting off doing anything about it. I've had it for like two years and I'm just like, keep doing footwork, keep doing exercises, constantly researching stuff on YouTube. And there is a surgery you can do where they finally just snip that band. But um, I didn't wanna do that. I wanted that to be like very, very last resort. So I finally ended up getting these shoes that I was talking about this morning and honestly I wish I would have done it sooner and I wanted to include this in the vlog today where I actually got the shoes. I didn't show me getting them. I don't know why I didn't film it but um, I was just so excited. I was like oh my gosh my feet are going to feel so much better. Uh, I wish I would have but you can see me wearing them in the clip where I'm harvesting the tomato and the pepper. So um, yeah I just wanted to say I will link them down below if you're dealing with this don't suffer you need these